Crawlers, baby. I'm a brawl on a mission, undefeated, undisputed, catch his right hook, don't miss him, I'm the greatest, like Ali, pet power wearing my punch, line him up, knock him down, boy, this really what you want, I put you dead in your front. All right, boxing fans, this is your boy Rick Mohammed, Brawl of Sports Media, and this is the Brawl of Sports Boxing Show, just to finalize what happened tonight in the main event, uh, well, what a main event, the way it ended. Jamal Simplified Herring versus Jonathan Oquindo ends in an eighth round stoppage uh, due to an incidental, not an accidental, but an intentional headbutt is what they're saying uh, by way of Jonathan Oquindo because he fights and he leads with his head. So that caused a headbutt in the fifth round, uh, causing a nasty cut above the right brow, if you will, of uh, Jamal Herring. Uh, I kind of felt like, and so did the commentators and Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward and the whole ESPN commentating staff felt like that Herring gave up and quit uh, when he did. And that was his way out to come back and say, hey, in the eighth round, at the end of the eighth round, to let the commission know, I can't see my eyes is my eye is closed. Uh, of course, he probably was ahead on the, the cards anyway, but... They didn't have to go to the scorecards because when it's an intentional foul involved, the the opposing uh, opposition, if you will, they automatically get disqualified, which allows Herring to keep his WBO championship strap, if you will. However, early in the fight, in the third round, when uh, his trainer, uh, Brian Bomack, told him to give himself some space and he was successful in doing so, he gave, gave himself that separation and that space and Oquindo walked right into a beautiful left uppercut uh, by Herring that put Oquindo on his ass. Thought we had a good fight moving forward. I thought, you know, uh, Herring had opened up, started putting his punches together, real good combinations until that cut. And that questions, you know, his uh, solidifying him as a, as a champion uh, because champions, they fight through that and they get through it and they continue to put out and leave it in the ring. That's what a heart of a champion does. And you allow your cut man that you're paying as part of that team in that corner to do his job and get in there and stop that bleeding. That's what the fans would have wanted to see him do. And that's what uh, ESPN uh, boxing analyst, uh, you know, uh, Brady and uh, Andre Ward was saying, uh, Timothy Bradley, I mean, and, and Andre Ward is saying that should have happened. So in his next fight, he wants to fight on a higher elite level higher platform against the likes of Carl Frampton, that fight's going to be 10 times tougher than this fight. So uh, that's it for tonight, boxing fans. Main event ended in a real ugly fashion. The fight turned out to be ugly as well. Hey, sometimes this is boxing. You never know what you're going to get. Like Forrest Gump, life is like a box of chocolates, so is boxing. It's your boy, Rick Mohammed. We end in the night. Brawl of Sports Media in the building, and this is the Brawl of Sports Boxing Show. Until next time, let's get it, baby. Brawlers, Brawlers baby. Brawlers, baby.